Hi guys, I'm super excited to get into today's video. It is all about how artificial turf professionals, uh, maybe you do playground installations or any variety of those types of work, how ArcSite can be the technology that takes your business to that next level. And it's gonna save you in time, it's gonna save you in efficiency, and I'm gonna show you just how it all works in hopefully under about five minutes here. So the first thing I wanna show you is that we have four layers already made here. And those are the four things I wanna show you today. So first we're gonna do an outline, the perimeter of the lawn that we're working on where we're gonna install artificial turf. We're gonna do the fill level, then we're gonna do the turf level, and then we're gonna do staples and perimeter. Just makes things a little bit easier to look at. It all makes sense as I start drawing. So in our first layer here, I'm gonna do a quick drawing of a house. And then we wanna use the draw tool to draw what the backyard will actually look like. And that's where we're gonna be installing. So. Okay, so I finished my drawing and what I decided to do is to make it not a perfect square. So that way I can show you um, how ArcSight can even account for when you have scrap. So we'll get into that when we get into the turf level. All of your products are housed in this tab right here called products. I'm gonna go down and I'm going to select this pre-bundled item that contains all the data for decomposed granite as well as weed fabric. So if I tap this and use the fill tool, I can instantly fill the entire area with both decomposed granite and weed fabric. As you see, it's at 4,484 square feet, already done for us. So before I move onto my turf layer, I'm gonna turn off the fill layer. So now it looks a little bit cleaner and I know it looks like it disappeared, but I promise it's still there. Okay, so now that we're on the turf level, I'm gonna select fresh rolls right here. And now, as you likely know, rolls usually come in about 15 feet increments. So instead of the fill tool, we're gonna have to keep them at that 15 feet length. So I'm gonna do the draw area rectangle tool and go ahead and start to draw a 15 foot long roll. All right, and now I know what you're thinking, that's going into the house, that doesn't make sense. But I promise once I show you the tear off or the scrap feature, it's gonna make perfect sense. So now you can watch me fill in the entire area with turf. Okay, so now we, as you saw, I was easily able to just copy and paste each roll over and fit it to the length of the perimeter. And now that next step I told you is scrapping it. And it's actually really easy. So all I have to do is the same way that we did the fill is select scrap, fill area, and then let's just tap the parts that we know are not part of the finished products. Okay, so now all of our scrap is accounted for. Turn both of these off again. Um, and move on to our staples. So now that we're on here, we're gonna do just our perimeter and staples, which is another bundled product. Okay, so here's what I found is our perimeter with drive anchors with staples. So we have anchor, staples, perimeter. That looks good to me. So let's go ahead and draw that in there. All right, that was easy. And, and now I know everyone does things different, but if you look at all the products I have over here, it just shows you that there's really no limit to the type of uh, items that you can put in here. Okay, so now everything's here. The only thing I could think of that we might need is seam tape. So I'm turning turf back on and I'm gonna hop into seam tape. So products, let's just type in seam. Same way I did perimeter, it's so easy. All we're gonna do is draw a line on the seam. So now let's do that final step and show you how the takeoff parts of this work. So take off an estimate right here. So now you get a bit of an idea of how every little thing we drew is now accounted for down to the number of staples. Now I bring up staples because there's something important here where it says we're missing required data. Now it wasn't something we did when we we're drawing. This is actually a tool you can use for when you have employees out quoting, you can make sure that they add additional information. So when I tap into here, it wants me to choose if the staples we're using are either galvanized or stainless steel. So for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna pick galvanized 
and now we are good to go. Now it tells us that there is 4,056 staples. So just with that drawing, we know down to the exact amount of staples we're gonna need for this project. Now, one more thing I'd really like to show you is when we tap into the roles here, because of the data we've added, if we go to our item list, we can see exactly how long each role needs to be. So as you can see here, the first one is 948 square feet, where the second one is 687 square feet. And what's great about this is you can now take this quote that you've made and send it back to the guys at the shop who are preparing everything and you can have everything ready for installation so much faster. So I know this was a super quick overview and there's obviously so much more you can do in ArcSight, especially if you are in the turf business. So if any of this information, uh, if you wanna see it in more detail or maybe with your company's product, all you have to do is go to arcsightapp.com and click request demo. So thank you again for watching this video. And again, please don't hesitate to ask if you have any questions. Thanks.